All right, today I'm going to teach you four months of film school in two minutes. Part one, the technical stuff. First thing you need to know is something called the exposure triangle, and that is the balance between your shutter, your ISO, and your aperture. Next up, you have color profiles. You can have log, HLG, or none, and they have various different levels of gamma curves that allow for you to pull more color out of your image later. The flatter the gamma curve, the more work you have to do in post to get the color you want, but it allows for more flexibility when making those decisions. Next up, we're gonna talk about assisting tools. My top three are peaking, false color, and zebras. Peaking helps you find focus. False color and zebras helps you get accurate exposure for your scene. Next up, we're talking about support specifically tripod. I'm using my own camera as an example. First thing you wanna do is find the center weight of the camera and mount that to the middle of the tripod. Then if you can, use a little counterbalance to make sure that you have the weight accurately balanced on the actual rig. All right, now we're gonna talk about lighting. All right, lighting can be its own course altogether, but here's my three tips for a good starting point. Use backlighting on your subject whenever you can. If you're shooting a talking head, make sure that your subject is in between the camera and the light so that they get a short side light. This is much more flattering and a lot cooler looking. But the best thing you can do is soften your light source as a starting point. You can always deviate from that, but always start from a softer lighting point. Audio. Look, if you don't have a slate or a time code, at least clap your hands so that you can sync up your audio and your video in post. Generally speaking, don't let your peaking go above negative 6 dB. And as a starting point, you wanna have a boom and a lav for each character that you have in your scene. But the best advice that I can give you for audio is just hire an audio professional for the love of God that will make your life so much easier. Just do it. Part two. Theory. All right, you got three main kinds of films. You got realism, which is like your indie films. You got classicalism, which is like your romance, drama stuff, the stuff that gets Oscars. And then you have your formula stuff, which is like tentpole stuff, things like Marvel. Shooting a sequence consists of five different focal lengths. You have establishing, wide, medium, close, and extreme close. And all of those have split points in between them so that you can vary your shots as much as you want. Also, don't forget about the 33% rule, which is every time you move your camera, it should be at least a 33% difference from the previous shot. Now we're gonna talk about mise en scene, which is basically you establishing constraints of your story and then telling a story inside of those constraints. Basically you as a storyteller get to establish the rules of the reality that you're building. You can also use those rules to hide and expose various different parts of the story. Editing. Now when you're editing your film, it's up to you to decide the pace of the story and that's the hardest thing to establish as a good editor. It takes time, it takes practice, just keep doing it. Please don't edit it like Black Adam. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack watching that movie. My general rule for starting out in editing, don't cut until you think you have to and then cut right before that moment. Also, please abide by the 180 degree rule, which means you never cross a subject's eye line. Of course, rules are made to be broken, so you know do whatever you want. Yeah. Color. Now we're not talking about color correction because that's again his entire class all by itself. What we're going to talk about is the meaning of color in your film. Now there's conventional tropes that you can abide by like red meaning love, yellow meaning fear, green meaning prosperity, blue meaning sadness, but it's up to you as the storyteller to establish meaning behind each color. My favorite example of this is orange in The Godfather. Link below so you can explore that. But the best lesson of all is find a team of people you trust and you can have fun with to do all this together because you can't do it by yourself. A long time ago in a very, very different world, somebody said to write a book, you need a pencil. To take a photo, you need a camera. To make a movie, you need an army. And trust me, that's very, very true. It's impossible to do this by yourself, so find people you trust and stick with them. And as always, like and subscribe. I don't think that was two minutes, but still saved you like 3.9 months of work, so. You know, you're welcome.